Right then, thistle magnetic plaster. Since we started developing it, there's been loads of speculation about what you can and what you can't do with it. But the great thing about having a magnetic wall is you can experiment and have fun with it. So that's what we did. And we shot this video to show you what we got up to. First up was hanging a clock on a wall. And basically all we did was put a few magnetic strips on the back of the clock, but not too close to the batteries, otherwise the clock would go bonkers, and then put the clock on the wall. Simple. We then fancied a game of darts, so we got a magnetic dartboard and a strong magnet, and on the back of the magnet we put a scrap of rubber. Why, I hear you ask? Well, basically to help provide more friction and to stop it sliding down the wall. And bullseye, it worked perfectly. Next up was a large picture. Now, hanging a small picture frame on magnetic plaster is pretty easy, but what about a big one? One with a heavy glass pane and weighing about two kilograms, which is pretty heavy. We tackled this by getting an A4 magnetic sheet and an A4 piece of foam and we stuck the foam onto the back of the picture and then stuck the magnetic sheet onto the foam. Now this foam we thought would help give flexibility and help mould the frame to the wall, ensuring the magnet stands proud of the frame. And voila, it stayed on the wall. Great stuff. We then thought, hmm, could we figure out how to hang a shelf and then put some heavy books on it? So, we got our shelf, nailed an A4 magnetic sheet to the back and then screwed in a couple of metal plates and on these plates we put two strong magnets and then put the shelf on the wall and it was at this point we were all thinking would it hold when we put the books on? And guess what? It held firm, no problem at all. Now at this point we were all getting a bit excited and we thought surely a computer monitor wouldn't stay up but curiosity got the better of us so we gave it a go. So, we made a wall bracket to go in the back of the monitor and we put a metal strip onto the top of the bracket and then got several strong magnets and popped them on the strip. Then on the wall we thought we'd put a couple of A4 magnetic sheets to help stop the monitor sliding down the wall. Would it stay up? Yep, we couldn't believe it. How good is that? We then thought, right, let's go full on and just see how far we can push it. So we got out a big telly which weighs about seven and a half kilograms and we fashioned a homemade bracket and screwed it to the back of the telly and then attached a metal strip and then popped on several strong magnets to stop it falling away from the wall. And to stop it sliding down the wall we made a thin block out of A4 magnetic sheets which the telly would sit on. So this was it, the moment of truth. And bingo, it worked. Amazing.